Hello, I'm Loris, and it is summer travel season. So if New York City is on your list of places to go, in this video, I'm gonna recommend my top five favorite healthy places to eat. Before I get started, I wanna say a big thank you to all the new subscribers. A lot of people found this channel through my vaccine videos, and I'm glad you're here. So thanks so much for subscribing. New York is a fabulous restaurant city. I mean, there are thousands of restaurants here. So I wanna share with you the criteria that I use to narrow down the five that I'm sharing with you today. First thing is quality of ingredients. Every one of these restaurants has chefs that are out at farmer's markets getting really fresh seasonal things to cook. The next thing is how the food is prepared None of the restaurants on this list serve any food that is fried or cooked in a lot of butter or oils. So it's all prepared in a very healthy manner. The next thing, all of these restaurants offer dishes that are plant-based, gluten-free, and dairy-free. The other thing I've taken into consideration with these recommendations is the experience. The setting, the vibe, the style, the location. All of these places offer a really unique, great experience. Also, every restaurant on this list has been around for a while. The oldest one has been around for 50 years, and the newest one's been around for nine. So all these restaurants have absolutely stood the test of time in a really tough town. The other thing is, I've taken out-of-towners to every one of these restaurants, and they've always been a hit. So they've all passed my tourist test. And of course, above all, these places have to be fabulously delicious. Now my list does have one glaring problem. All the restaurants are based in downtown Manhattan. And that's not to say there aren't fabulous healthy restaurants in so many other neighborhoods, but I've lived and hung out in downtown Manhattan for so many years that I never like to recommend places that I haven't been multiple, multiple times. So I feel like I'm not the best guide to take you through great restaurants, Upper East, Upper West, Queens, Harlem. So I hope some of you out there watching can share some amazing restaurant recommendations from other neighborhoods that my knowledge is completely lacking in. All that said, let's get started. Oh, and one more thing, I just wanna say I have no affiliation with any of the restaurants listed. Nothing here is sponsored in any way. I am simply a happy patron. So for every restaurant, I'm gonna talk about what kind of food they serve, what you can expect to find on the menu, and what the atmosphere is like. And of course, there'll be links below to all the places. So in no particular order, here is my list. First up on the list is Suen. Suen is the oldest restaurant on the list. It's been here since 1971. So it's been here in New York for 50 years. At this point, it's a total cult classic. The type of food is Japanese organic macrobiotic. Now, true confessions, when I first started going to Suen like 15 plus years ago, I don't think I knew what macrobiotics was. I just thought Suen was a delicious restaurant, and I still do. If you're curious though, macrobiotics is a diet that originated in Japan and revolves around whole grains, fresh vegetables, fresh sea vegetables, beans, rice, and fish. Suen serves no meat and no dairy, but you will find fish on the menu. Suen's signature dish is the macro plate. The macro plate has brown rice, beans, kale, kombucha squash, I hope I pronounced that right, broccoli, and wakame seaweed. And it comes with the dressing of your choice, like a miso tahini or a carrot ginger. It sounds simple, but it's so delicious. And you can also get fish, organic salmon, wild cod. There's also a selection of ramen and a variety of noodle dishes, like pad thai and vegetable curries. Suen is the only restaurant I've ever been to that I can honestly say I felt healthier when I walked out than when I walked in. The atmosphere at Suen is very mellow with a very zen vibe. Suen is located in the East Village of Manhattan and is open for lunch and dinner. And there is no outdoor seating. 
Next up is the smile. On the Smiles website, the food is described as healthy, delicious, and Mediterranean inspired. You'll find a lot of what I would call classic dishes on the menu at the Smile, like baked salmon, roasted chicken, roasted broccoli, quinoa bowl with vegetables. Now, even though you've probably had some of these dishes at restaurants before, there's something about the way the flavor is at the Smile that's just so good. And I'm not a great cook, so I don't know what it is, but it's just delicious. The Smile serves breakfast, lunch, brunch, and dinner. Some of the standouts on the brunch menu include baked eggs with avocado and the brioche French toast. Now, even if you don't make it to the Smile for one of those meals, here's the cool thing. The Smile has these offshoots around town called the Smile to Go. And you can go in, get some takeout to go to the park for a picnic, sit outside. At the Smile to Go locations, you're gonna find a seasonal array of salads and pastas, just really, really good and fresh and delicious. The other thing about the Smile is that in my opinion, they have the best chocolate chip cookie in New York City. Maybe the country, I don't know, but it's so good. It is a dark chocolate and sea salt chocolate chip cookie. You can get it at the restaurant or any of the Smile to Go locations. It's so good. The Smile is located in NoHo, which stands for North of Houston. SoHo stands for South of Houston, so it's just a few blocks away from the SoHo neighborhood. It's located on this beautiful cobblestone street in this Federalist townhouse from the 1830s. So it's a really beautiful atmosphere. There is some outdoor seating as well. Next up is Blue Ribbon Sushi. Now there's no shortage of absolutely amazing sushi in Japanese restaurants in New York City. But for many sushi lovers, including myself, Blue Ribbon is just a gold standard. And it's been the gold standard for almost 30 years now. The fish is flown in fresh and daily from Japan. This is not the kind of sushi restaurant that has a list of what I would call novelty rolls on the menu. However, this is the kind of sushi restaurant that has four different kinds of tuna on the menu. There is a selection of vegetarian rolls, and you honestly cannot go wrong with anything on the menu. And for dessert, you have to try the green team, green team, green team. For dessert, you have to try the green tea cream brulee or the green tea ice cream. As of June 2021, Blue Ribbon is just serving dinner and there is no outdoor seating. Next up is Blue Fin. <laughs> no relation to Blue Ribbon. So here's the thing. Broadway is opening back up in September 2021. So if you're coming to New York at that time, you're probably coming here to see a Broadway show. And if you're coming to a Broadway show, you're going to need some place to eat either pre-theater or post-theater. And I'll be honest, finding good healthy food in Times Square is not easy. But Blue Fin is a perfect pre-theater or post-theater place to eat. Bluefin is located in the W Hotel in Times Square. And the minute you step in, you're immediately removed from the chaos of Times Square and you're in this really beautiful, modern, elegant space. The menu at Bluefin is extensive. It's mainly surf, but there's also some turf. Yeah, you can find some steak as well. Bluefin has sushi, a raw bar, and tons of entrees. My recommendation would be to save your sushi night for Blue Ribbon. And again, at Blue Fin, have one of their entrees like the Big Eye Sesame Encrusted Tuna or the Salmon. And for dessert, there's a classic chocolate molten cake. And if you're running late to the theater, you can get some warm chocolate chip cookies to go. Now, as of June 2021, Blue Fin is just doing dinner and there is no outdoor seating. The atmosphere at Blue Fin is modern, elegant, and big compared to a lot of New York City restaurants. Next up is The Butcher's Daughter. The Butcher's Daughter is the only restaurant on the list that is 100% plant-based. The Butcher's Daughter has been here in New York for nine years, so it's the youngest on the list. At The Butcher's Daughter, you can have breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. On the dinner menu, you're going to find things like vegetable curry, mushroom and squash carbonara, and The Butcher's Burger, which is vegetables and black beans. Now, to me, the coolest thing about the Butcher's Daughter is it's also a juice bar. Their juice menu is more extensive than most wine list. Because of all the juice bar offerings, my favorite meal to have at the Butcher's Daughter is 
brunch. A couple of the standouts on the brunch menu include gluten-free pancakes with coconut drizzle and berry sauce, and the best egg sandwich, which has smashed avocado, harissa aioli, and kale. I would describe the atmosphere of the butcher's daughter as bright and California boho, and I mean that in the best possible way. Here in New York, the butcher's daughter has two locations in Manhattan and also one in Brooklyn, and they are open for breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. And again, my recommendation is brunch because of the amazing juice bar. And the butcher's daughter has lovely outdoor seating. And even if you don't make it to the butcher's daughter for a meal, I would definitely recommend stopping by for one of their fabulous juices. And last but certainly not least is Aurora. Aurora is an Italian restaurant. One of the things I think is really unique about Aurora's menu is that they'll make any of their pasta dishes gluten-free. Besides their salads and pastas, one of their standout things on the menu is the grilled whole Mediterranean branzino. At Aurora, I think the best way to order is family style. Get a couple pastas, get the branzino, and let everyone share. Aurora has two locations, one in Soho and one in Brooklyn. They are open breakfast, lunch, brunch, and dinner. Uh, brunch only on the weekends. I would describe the atmosphere as a candlelit, rustic farmhouse. Oh, and Aurora does have some outdoor seating. So there you have it, my top five favorite healthy restaurants in downtown Manhattan. Now, here's the thing. You can't talk about food in New York City without talking about pizza and bagels. Now, while pizza and bagels really don't make my healthy list, you have to try them while you're here because you know, when in Rome. Now, every neighborhood has a great slice of pizza and a bagel. Here's how you're gonna find it find someone walking their dog. There's a really good chance that that person lives in the vicinity and everyone knows the best pizza and the best bagels within their neighborhood. I'm gonna make a possibly controversial statement and say that most dog owners are pretty cool and they're gonna be more than happy to recommend you some good pizza and good bagels in their neighborhood. And here's the thing with bagels in New York, if you get a bagel from a good bagel shop, you don't get it toasted. A good New York bagel does not deserve toasting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some new ideas of some places to put on your list for next time you visit. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait for you to share your favorite places in the comments below. And if you're interested in more things about healthy living and healthy eating, I hope you'll subscribe. Safe summer travels. In the meantime, stay well. I'll see you soon. Bye.